Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session here. Today, we'll be speaking with Michael Keller all about ABAP and his journey with ABAP. Michael will also be giving us some quick tips and tricks, um, some resources on how you can get started with ABAP. Michael, care to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Michael Keller. And first of all, I have to thank you, Mamiki, for allowing me to be here today. And thanks to our viewers uh, in front of the the screen for the time they spent. So as Mamiki said, my name is Michael Keller and as you see here on the list, I'm very busy. I'm ABAP developer, first of all, it's most important for our talk today that I'm ABAP developer. Um, in combination with my development I'm doing with ABAP is my role as software architect from time to time. And I'm doing a lot of consultancy in the area of logistics mainly the materials management and the sales and distribution. And from time to time, I'm an end user trainer. So that's mostly what is in connection with my work I'm doing every day. And then in my free time, free time, I'm an SAP champion, thanks for, uh, to a lot of blogs I uh, published about ABAP. I'm author for some online news portals where I um, publish articles about ABAP and topics like that from time to time. I blog a lot, as I said, in the SAP community about ABAP. And I'm the co-founder and CEO of Educated Bytes GmbH, a small company that I founded with my wife together. And then from time to time, I work as lecturer at a University of Applied Sciences to help people getting into ABAP. Yes, that's my free time. And then not to forget the family time. Family is very important. So I'm father of a, a little girl, I'm husband and I'm son. And uh, that's very important to say it again, don't forget the family. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Michael, we're going to be speaking with you about your journey with ABAP. Um, how and when did you start your journey with ABAP? Yeah, I have to recall that maybe around 2002, when I started with ABAP, the first, um, uh, yeah, I had the first time seen an SAP system. Uh, in these times, it were an R3. Uh, 4.6c, very complicated version name in these times. Um, yes, that was my first um, first contact with SAP. Nice, nice. Now, what were some of the challenges that you faced when you first began? The challenges, yeah. Um, times were very different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yes, in 2002, uh, 2002, you had a whole server farm in your basement mm -hmm. um, for having an SAP installation. And um, you worked a lot with compact disks, with these CDs and all the things. And it was not so easy to get all the information you need to start and to get access to an SAP system so that you uh, could get an, um, um, a first insight into the system. Yeah, that was not so easy as it is today. <laughs> so what, would you, what do you see as like a significant change from when you first started and to now and why? <laughs> yeah, one of the biggest uh, major steps we did in the last 10 to 20 years was the introduction of cloud, cloud services. I'm very happy that we have today um, the chance to access, to easily access systems uh, in the cloud and that you don't have to put all the machines in your basement. Um, as I said, a whole server farm and uh, that you can connect these systems in the cloud every time, everywhere you are. That's one of the major steps. We consume a lot of nice services today. And it's unbelievable unbelievable what um, possibilities we have today. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Now, um, what was your earliest memory of like creating, editing, or running your ABA program? Like, what is your earliest memory of doing that? And how was it? Yeah, the earliest memory was, well, is, um, the, the work with the SAP GUI, with the graphical user interface in the ABAP workbench. And I did uh, something like a Hello World program. Yeah. And uh, that was very, 
uh, interesting for me, was a big step for me to have uh, first time running my own program. But what was mo most mo more important for me was the fact that you could debug everything. Um, a colleague of mine showed me this slash H, uh, just this little letter, and uh, showed me the memory and um, did a single step debugging, and I was blown away <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't knew something like that from any other system I had seen before. That is so easy to debug a system and to get into the processes to see what is the memory at runtime. That was wonderful for me. Nice. Now, is that something that you are still using today, right? Like, it's been so useful for you from the beginning to now. So I know you mentioned that debugging is one of your favorite things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess now we can kind of um, speak about some of your, your three steps or maybe you care to explain these four to us. Yes, I uh, brought something today with me here for you, for everyone that wants to start the ABAP journey. And I choose a three-step approach. And I use the symbols for you to remember what I was talking uh, about today. The first step you should do is be well organized. You have to organize everything. Um, it's like cooking when you go to the kitchen. There is this nice French sentence mise en place so that you have everything ready you did your first steps and then go into the crow phase um, take your time and you learn over time everything that has to do with ABAP yeah. and then when you uh, matured in this um, in, in uh, writing or working with ABAP then connect everything that's the part when you say oh I have an idea here and I combine it with a process from that and so on. So um, let us see now or dip, uh, dig deeper into the, the first step here, the well-organized part. Yes. That's the get ready phase as I uh, want to describe it. <laughs> first of all, I, was, I want to propose that you should learn about the terms and products because they are very special in connection with SAP products. Um, and it's not easy, but um, do your first steps and uh, take your time to learn what is, uh, for example, ABAP, what is an S4 system, and so on, what is HANA, and uh, all the um, product names. Yeah. And a good starting point is the SAP community. SAP community is uh, what the name says. It's an online community from SAP. And you will have their uh, nice starting points for your journey, but you will have a lot of people they are talking, discussing, helping you. And then um, I guess most of you will have the first experience with ABAP. They want to try it. They want to write a little program or something like that. So do your first steps on Exorcism. Exorcism is an online platform, so you don't need to install anything on your uh, own um, notebook or something like that. And you can have, uh, you can try little ABAP exercises online, just with your browser, and you will get a first insight into ABAP. And when you say that was great, you should get an own, uh, an own SAP BTP ABAP trial account because you get um, access, um, free access to um, uh, SAP and an ABAP runtime environment. So you can uh, try everything you want. And the nice thing is the SAP BTP is a cloud service. So you have always the latest ABAP runtime that's possible. So you can try always the uh, latest features. That's really, really nice to have. Yes. And to access the, um, the BTP ABAP trial account, you uh, need the um, ABAP development tools for Eclipse. So this is um, an extension for uh, Eclipse. That's your typical integrated development environment, something that every programmer needs to write source code and to execute it. Yeah, and one of the most important proposals, um, don't learn old ABAP statements or something like that. Like that. Check the clean ABAP guide on GitHub. So you have always um, 
an idea of what is modern ABAP and how you should work with ABAP as programming language in the year 2022 uh, 22, and not um, like we did in former times. <laughs> not what you guys started, right? Yeah, that's the get ready phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we come to the second step, the crow phase. Take your time. I mean, it's a time of, of years. Um, first of all, check the tutorial navigator. You find it online um, when you're looking in the, S uh, in the SAP community. You find the tutorial navigator. And there are plenty of tutorials made for you uh, um, to start your ABAP journey. And you should learn object-oriented development. This is nothing special about ABAP. This is, um, there are a lot of programming language that's languages that object oriented, and it's important to um, understand the ideas behind the object orientation. Um, then one proposal or recommendation from me is um, focus on, um, on some um, backend stuff, no user interface at the beginning, just focus on some classes, little interfaces, and something like that on a very easy idea you want to um, write or to realize with other. So you uh, don't have the chance to get any errors with the graphic user interface or something like that. Just focus on one little idea and then try the next little idea. And then the next, you will see the tutorial navigator is um, presenting that in the same, in the same manner. Yeah. And as I said before, debug a lot. Uh, every time you have the chance, uh, try to debug um, your own software. You will need that because sometimes we are doing mistakes. Um, in the early beginning, we are doing a lot of mistakes, and um, we have uh, debugger will be our best friend in the in the first time. So debug a lot, and then write unit tests. Unit tests is the idea to write um, software that tests the software you have written. And um, just as a, a little hint, you can debug your unit tests. So the debugger can be used when you execute unit tests. That's a good chance to combine the both and uh, to see how it works. Yeah. And when you have to done the first steps, uh, try to learn SQL, the ABAP SQL, because um, you will have to uh, write data into database tables. You can learn a lot about database and database tables and how to model data and something like that and learn about ABAP core data services because you will need it when you store data uh, permanently. Yes, and the last recommendation is about interfaces. Um, no system is existing alone today. <laughs> All systems are connected. Um, every system has um, its own task and a spe speciality, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so try to implement interfaces that connect different systems, consume data, publish data to other systems so that you get a good understanding of protocols and formats. Um, so to say how systems uh, communicate and uh, what are the representation of the data is that is uh, shared between those systems. Yep. Yeah, it's the grow phase. Mm -hmm. Now the connect phase. The last phase, and that will perhaps last a little bit, is to connect everything. And everything means really everything. Mm -hmm. um, in your first days, try to connect with everyone, with people. Try to connect um, people um, you know, um, because it's important to discuss about a lot of things. For example, about ideas your ideas. When you are thinking about the world and when you have a toolkit like ABAP is, uh, after some time, you have understand the syntax, you want to do something with your new, new possibilities. And so you are thinking about ideas and you want to discuss these ideas and you develop your own concepts. How could I store this data in this database table or how could I read the data from uh, that place? And yes, you want to discuss this. And then methods. You will develop your own methods, how to deal with a special problem, and you want to discuss, is this method really good? And perhaps you want to implement a process. A whole process is, is consists of different steps. 
And then the last part is technology. Technology is made by people. So we start with the idea to connect people, to connect yourself with people and um, to connect yourself with technology. But you have to think of um, different technologies. Sometimes it's really interesting not to think about um, information technology, about other uh, things you have seen, um, other experience you made. So just connect simply everything in your life, every experience with all the terms I have written here. Absolutely. Those are very important. Now, um, what are some of the things that I guess you would say you worked on? Because um, people want to know like where to find you and, and care to explain some of the places where you're at and some, you know, some blog posts that you've also done um, pertaining to ABBA because we, like you mentioned before, you are very um, active in the SAP community. Um, so maybe I'll let you kind of give your plug of where you are, where to find you, and how can people be able to read more of your work? Yeah, I'm very active in the SAP community. I think there are more than 100 blogs in the ABAP development area of um, SAP community. And if I have enough time, I try to comment other blogs or to discuss with other peoples about some ideas in the SAP community. As I said, it's the typical starting point for everyone of, of, of for everyone who wants to start with ABAP. Mm -hmm. And there is a big um, ABAP community or SAP community on Twitter. So um, my Twitter handle is, uh, you see it here, it's iHeartABAP. I guess it says, <laughs> yes. And not to forget the business, the typical business network, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, just have a look for uh, Michael Keller and um, you will see or you will find me there. And um, um, I try to publish different code snippets from me, uh, code parts um, in ABAP on GitHub. GitHub is very good for that. And there is um, a growing SAP community on GitHub. That's on, the community is publishing a lot of um, open source tools. Since we have ABAP Git, <laughs> we are publishing more and more open source tools on GitHub and uh, just some snippets or ideas um, how to deal with special problems in ABAP or just some first steps or exercises we do. And um, it's always a good idea to um, have a look at GitHub and to connect there with everyone uh, who's doing ABAP. Yes. Thank you so much, Michael. Um, this was a really great, insightful interview. Um, I believe those three steps are important. Um, like for me, I would say those are the most important for anyone who's becoming an adopter or wants to be an ABAP developer. I think those are some of the key steps that you need to be able to get your feet wet, you know, get your feet in the door, um, especially with the community. There's so many people out there that are willing to help you and are going to help you um, like yourself. Um, so I think it's something that um, anybody who's looking to learn would be able to um, I guess we'll be able to take advantage of because there's so much stuff that you can learn on there from the tutorials to the blog posts to just, I guess, like what you said, like the group of people there that can help you and just sharing ideas with others. I think that is what um, what really can benefit a person when they're starting to learn anything. Um, and, that's, and SAP does Totally really agree, agree, yes. <laughs> Maybe we can say something like, the whole SAP community um, is waiting for you with arms wide open. There are yeah. a lot of things for you to um, to uh, to try out. Yeah. And um, if you have a chance, just uh, start your ABAP journey today. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, you said it. Well, you well said it. So definitely um, start your ABAP journey today. Um, if you are looking to get into that space, um, it's not too late. And there's a, like what you said, there's a community literally waiting for you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Michael, for taking the time out to I attend this been. session and being such a great host. Um, yeah, we hope to see you again soon. Many thanks and many thanks to our audience today. Okay, I think we've